dugsiyada nuuradiin nuuradiin iskuulis بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Welcome back to our online lessons Today uh, our lesson is different from our previous lessons This is we intend to take an activity so you can work with me inshallah So let us work together Grammar and vocabulary this is activity. So work with me and open your white papers and work with me. We're gonna take this one, but we, we need to take reasons. Why are we taking this one? The correct answer needs a reason. So remember the reason. The food was delicious, this is a question. The first question is, the food was delicious. That was, we ask you for more. The food was dash delicious. That we ask you for more. So, A, quite. B, two. C, so. D, very. So, which one is correct? We don't want to say B is the correct, but why? Why it becomes correct? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to give you a formula, adverb of degree, two, it needs two, very, it needs but, very, and so, that. Whenever, these are adverb of degree, so whenever you have the word to it uh, adverb degree take a look to for example i am too tired to work i am too tired to work and very but whenever you see the word very but for example i am very tired but i can work i am very tired but I can work. What about so? So. So, you need that. I am so tired that I cannot work. I am so tired that I cannot work. So, take this example and this formula. So, the food was delicious that we ask you for more. So you have quite two so very. What about two? The, the food was delicious. There is no two in here. The food wa was very delicious. There is no but in here. So the food was so delicious that we ask you for more. So you have that. Since you have that, we need the answer becomes so. The answer becomes so. The answer becomes so. C. The food was so delicious that we ask you for more. So the correct answer becomes so and so. Number two. Dash. It's a space. I was very tired, I could not sleep. I could not sleep. So we need to take the correct answer. So which the correct answer? This one, or this one, or this one, or this one. Whenever you see uh, the word uh, although, although, It's a contraction. It's a contraction. Although it's a contraction. It's a contraction. 
So you need, although it's a contraction, so you need subject plus verb. Subject plus verb. So uh, even as also or because because you need uh, two uh, cause two two uh, two uh, cause and event cause and event. For example, yes, cause. Cause and evict. I ate the cake because I, because I was hungry. I ate the cake because I was hungry. But this one, although I was very tired, I couldn't sleep. So the correct answer is although. The correct answer. Is all do. All do. Although I was very tired, I couldn't sleep. This is dependent clause, and this is a dependent clause. So this sentence contains two clauses. Although I was very tired, I couldn't sleep. You can't say because. Because needs cause and effect. Okay, and as. Uh, is, uh, it means uh, now when. When I was very tired, it's not correct. But although I was very tired, I couldn't sleep. Number. Mm. Asha has been, yes. Asha has been married a long time. She got married, Asha. Asha has been married a long time. She got married. She was 23 years old. Do not use because. There is no cause and evict. And do not use sinus because sinus uh, indicates a point of time. But the correct answer becomes when. 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 Asha has been married a long time she got married when when she was 23 years old so the correct answer is when okay the teacher was very sad not sad with the people who had not done their homework sad not because some of the students didn't die it's not sorrow the situation or in this case we get we cannot use uh, a sad what about disturb it no the teacher did not disturb it but uh, it was not sorry sorry about the word the correct answer is annoyed what is the meaning of annoyed angry 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 The teacher was very annoyed. Yeah. With the pupils who had not done their homework. He was very, uh, very an angry. Uh, very angry. Very angry. Angry, annoyed, it means angry. So the teacher was very annoyed with the pupils who had not done their homework. He was very angry. I will talk to your parents when uh, this shows you that this is a clause. So we need another clause to fill here. I will talk to your parents when they have come to school. Come to school. Will come to school. Will come. No. Will come to school.
will come to school. So this is simple future. This is simple future. So in conditional sentences, when you have simple future, you need a simple present tense. Your main clothes or uh, uh, your main clothes take simple future, and your if clothes takes simple present tense. So a uh, is not simple present tense. Have come to school. Have come to school. Or will not come to school. Here you need a simple present tense because this is a possible condition. So the correct answer is B. Because I will talk to your parents when they come to school. So this is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. If I had a bigger suitcase, this is simple pass. So if you have simple pass, if you have simple pass, simple, if you have simple pass, your, uh, your conditional sentence, your if clause, you need a conditional clause or present condition. So I will, uh, I will back, not I will back. But the correct answer becomes B. Because if I had a bigger suitcase, I would bag all my clothes. So this is the correct answer. B is the correct answer. OK. Not will have backed or will have backed. Because if you're con in, during uh, conditional sentences, the imaginary conditional has two clauses. Main clause take a uh, present conditional and if close takes a simple past tense so you need you need uh would back okay what about the bonus man said we have not called the thieves yet we have not called the thieves yet we have not called the thieves yet. They have not called the thieves yet. Which one is correct, this one? We need to know the correct answer. So we have not called the thieves yet. Whenever you are going to use reward speech, or the sentence is a reward speech, the sentence, the direct speech, or the, uh, the, 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 the word to those have a quota or quotation marks needs capitalization. So this is a small letter, and this is a small letter, and this is a small letter. But capitalization is this one. So the correct answer is B. We have not called the TFC. Why? These are these are same. But remember the capitalization whenever you have. The lady, these are uh, Relative pronouns. Who, which, whom, and whose. But which one is correct? The lady shop was robbed, works in a bank. Not who, because here is a noun and here is a pronoun. So, so pronoun does not uh, describe or does not uh, uh, tell us something about the noun. But adjective, which is not which. The correct answer is D. The lady whose shop, who belongs to uh, the, the shop? The lady belongs to the shop. So this shows us the position or the ownership. So the lady whose shop was strobed works in a bank. So the correct answer is whose, whose. And the noun, because it's always preceded by a noun. Okay. What about these children are so noisy? I just wish they were, which is happened before your which, wish, and these noisy people. 
We don't say will be. They are noisy people. So you wish, but you wish. Uh, wish ha always happiness. Uh, we're going to use uh, past. So if you are regretting something that you, can, you can't do, or can't, uh, or, can't, uh, or can't do, or don't have, something that you don't have or can't do, we're going to use wish plus symbol bus. Wish plus simple pass. Wish plus simple pass. When you are regretting, if you are regretting something you can't do or you don't have, you're going to use wish plus simple pass. So this is a simple pass. So these children are so noisy. You are regretting these children. So you're going to use symbol bus, and you just, uh, you just say, I just wish they were quieter. So the correct answer were, what about if you had arrived earlier? If you had arrived earlier, wait. If you have arrived earlier, this is past perfect tense. So in conditional sentences, if you have past perfect tense, past perfect tense, subject, plus had, plus FBB, what do you need? This is if clause. We need the main clause, we need uh, uh, subject, main clause, we need subject plus would, plus half, plus fe bb subject plus would plus have plus fe bb so if you have had plus fe bb you need would plus have because this is impossible condition or third type so the correct answer is c if you had arrived earlier you would have got a better seat so this is past perfect tense and this is perfect conditional so this is impossible, uh, it looks, uh, or uh, it tells us a uh, 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 third type or, or impossible condition. So the correct answer is C. What about, there were books in the library, so the majority of the students couldn't get what to read. You can remember our previous lessons, quantifier, last week. So this is, these are the quantifiers, 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 few, very few, little, and a little. So here is a pullula. If you have pullula now, what, what are the two quantifiers do you need now? You need few and very few. You don't need little and a little. Because there is a bullular in here. If you have bullular in here, you need few and a, v and a very few. So, uh, so that's uh, one reason. Another reason is the majority of the students couldn't get. They couldn't get anything, uh, 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 any, any book to read or what to read. So it's a, it seems a negative idea. So you need to use, which one is correct? The correct answer is very few. The correct answer is very view, very view, because we have two reasons. Number one, we have uh, a popular uh, countable noun, books. Another reason is students couldn't get what to read, two reasons. Students couldn't get what to read and popular countable noun. So we need to use very view, or the correct answer is very view. What about it was beautiful spot that I visited four times. Beautiful spot. Here is a noun. Here is a noun. So beautiful spot. We don't use such. Such can be used. Uh, can be used to things. Such. Such we're gonna use. Plural. Uncountable nouns. What I say to you? 
What I say to you? Such can be used. Two, uncountable nouns and plural nouns. Uncountable nouns and plural nouns. But both is a singular. Remember, it's both is a singular. So we cannot use such. Such cannot be used. Because there is no either plural or uncountable noun. What about so? So, so can only be used. So can be used. Only adjective. Only adjective. What I say to you? So can be used only adjective. So can be used only adjective. And so air cannot be used. So air does not exist. So and air. So it related in adjective and air is related or relevant to the nouns. So they cannot, we cannot combine so and air. We cannot combine so, uh, so and air. So it does not exist. What is the correct answer? Such cannot be used because here there is a singular and such can be used plural and uncountable noun. So can uh, only use it be, uh, 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 can only be used uh, adjective. But here is a noun. So you have a, a noun, so you cannot use it so a. What about such a? Such a cannot be used because here is a singular. What about so a? So a does not exist. We cannot combine a and so, so and a. So the correct answer is C. C. C is the correct answer. It was, no, it's not so. B, such a. I do mean, this is incorrect. Such a. Such a is the correct answer. It was such a beautiful spot that I visited four times. So the correct answer is such a. Not such, not so, not so a, but such a. Such a can be used uh, in this sentence. What about Halima practiced? Okay, Halima practiced. Halima practiced uh, compositions before examination. If you have the word or the verb practice, if you have the word practice, you need a jiren in here. Jiren. Jiren. Because practice is one of the verbs followed by jiren. So the correct answer is C. Practice writing. Yes. Okay. That's the end of our lesson. So I say to you, thank you very much for your watching. I say to you, read your lessons everywhere you stay. And work hard. And repeat again all the lessons. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.